And it's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. So today I'm going to, I haven't done it in a while, I'm going to pour on some glass. This is a little glass goblet. I do like to pour on these and then put a little false succulent in there because I've got nowhere for it to drain. So it's not really good putting a live plant in there. But they're very nice to fill up with coloured stones or if you've painted the outside you obviously don't have to but some gravel and then put your succulent in they're really nice placement now this is just a mustard jar that I'm going to pour over and I'm going to put some string around the top to dress it up but I'll show you all of that these are great I've got them in my bathroom with the um, earbuds in and you can put toothpicks in them they're just a little great jar to have around and that looks then um, dress it up and you can put it on your outside table for different things so they're a good idea anyway so don't throw away any of your glass jars or vases so what I do to prepare is I'm using this isopropylene whatever you call it spraying so it just takes off any greasy fingerprints or anything off the outside of your glass so you just a bit of wipe over with your icy isoprol alcohol so it just cleans it takes the fingerprints off and if you've got gloved hands on then they don't uh, get the fingerprints on again so the same with this one just a spray it's I don't actually put a separate coat on my glass that I'm gonna spray on I find that with the most paints um, the acrylic paints they they just stick to it obviously it is not dishwasher safe so you wouldn't put it in the dishwasher um, but you just wipe over with a spongy cloth a soapy spongy cloth and they come up beautifully so that's all the prep I do I'm easy peasy lemon squeezy so I'm going to use some of the Montmartre pouring paints they're pre-made paints I've had these a long time and I really need to use them up before they just, I don't know how long they would last, but probably, probably donkey's years. Oh, that one's hard to break open the cap. So just gonna use a minimal colors, not, I'm not gonna put a load of colors on, but I have to have to have, this Montmartre gold is beautiful. I just love it. It's really vibrant and it's really, really sheeny shiny. So if you like a little bower bird, then it'll be good for you. Okay, what I would normally do or have been doing is putting my canvas on top, pouring over it and, you know, doing something with the canvas. Somebody suggested I put the canvas underneath so it drips down and I can remove it easily even with um, my cups I can just so so what I normally do is this okay that one will house that one and this one will house that one so when your paint dry these cups are very easy when they're dry you just squeeze them at the bottom and they'll come out even if the paint is stuck you can always put a gold acrylic pen liner around the rim to put a nice rim on, the, on them. So that's another little idea. So there you go. I might, with this particular one, coat both of my little glass duvalakis with black first, just because I want to try something different. But first of all, I'll load up, yeah, my, these are little cardboard cups so I can make a lip out of them. Uh, so whatever colour you put in first is going to come out last, so be mindful of that. So I don't obviously want too much black. But let's pour that in there. So I think that was coral and this is is this Shiraz so coral Shiraz black and gold 
is really what I'm doing today. So let's just see. That looks lovely in the cup. I'm going to, we'll just start with the larger one first. Maybe I'll move them a little way apart. So I'll just start with this one. I'm gonna pour the black over it. So this is quite thick. Remember, it's pre-made pouring pan. So if I pour the black over, it kind of gives it a coat before I've even got there. Maybe I even do this one. So these Montmartre pouring paints are quite reasonable and like if you're gathering all the paint at the bottom um, you know to redo another piece of art then you're not really wasting anything at all so it's all going to be used up you can also scrape it and put it back in a cup and reuse so really simply um, 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 what was I going to do? You just kind of allow that to cover most of your piece, which it's not really doing in some... If you leave it long enough, it actually does because it... It slides down. Mostly. With this one, because it's got a little dimple in there, I kind of like to push something in to get the paint to not all sit in there. Look, see how much paint is just sitting in that divot? So just push it. I just send it over the edge. You know, like we can be sent over the edge sometimes. So that's doing that. Radio. They're not fully covered, but we'll wing it, play it by ear and see if my paints cover nicely. What I was trying to achieve is, um, uh, I think I'll just do it. And if it doesn't work out, then you won't know I've done anything wrong, will you? <laughs> You'll be the blind, will you? Leading the blind. Okay, so with my colours, I'm going to hopefully these turn out. I'm going to do this one like this, just with a. Ah. And this one I might just do in lines so it leaves some of the black. It is like this, which I'd like to do with the gold, where you leave the gold underneath. Those colours actually seem to be moulding into each other, which they don't normally do. So maybe because they are quite old, at least maybe three years old. So I like that look where it leaves the one colour completely like the black. So I'm hoping that it slides down over this look. Let's try a bit there. Is that going? I think I would have been better pouring the colours separately over this particular one because they've all sort of moulded into one and I was really hoping that they wouldn't do that, that they would stay separated. See, they've all sort of gone a bit dirty, so I'm not real happy with that. But I'm not going to, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe I might just try squeezing some gold on separate that might then save it the day, I don't know. Let's just try it. So it just looks as though there's gold on the bottom, dipped maybe. I don't know. You just got to try these things. I don't want to waste too much on the bottom where you won't see it. I'm just hoping that dribbles over nicely. 
sure it will. It just takes time and the paint will work its way. Do its magic. I might just finger pop the areas that have got no paint on at the bottom because the paint, the other paint coming down will slide over them a lot easier. I think that's better with the gold on like that. This one's weird, it's gone into like little um, cells on it which you don't normally get with this paint unless you actually do put a cell activator so hmm. that is strange. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave those now. I the theory is that I can move this off. Easy peasy lemon squeezy over here. Okay, so we just leave that now to dry on the glass. And I, this was the leftover paint. See, so there's not too much leftover paint, but what we will do is we will make a little piece of art that matches the um, the vases. So they're very nice to give as gifts, I guess. Well, they are because I have given them as gifts. So I'm just using over the leftovers. We'll see what we can do with this. So whenever you see those pouring paints, I mean, they're very easy. You haven't got to think about how to mix your paints or what to add, you know, and sometimes they're often on sale. So you, you, when they're on sale, buy them. And they are quite reasonable anyway for very good quality. So I don't mind them at all. And they're always nice to do different things with. And like for me to come out here and not have to spend two hours mixing paints, thinking of colours, that these are all pre-mixed for me. It's a winner winner chicken dinner for sure. So look at that, that's really quite nice. I haven't got too much left over at the bottom, but you can even scrape that up and reuse it. I am really wondering why I'm just looking at this glass while I'm watching this tilt and thinking why on earth is it getting cells on our I'll show you dry pieces that I've had for two or three years that didn't have that same effect of the dry of the cells in so that's that's a new new for me right here I'm going to that would be absolutely fine as it is. But I'm gonna just have a little play as you do. I'm gonna put up a few colors, this hot pink, just to see if I can jazz it up a bit. We all know it's got, it's got lots of color under there somewhere. So we'll see if we can bring, oh, that was a bit much, Never mind. Put some of the gold, that was the Shiraz, the gold. I think I might do a bit of gold on its own. Little pinkers, and then this, what's this one? It's just called pink, well there you go. Thought it was more of a coral, but anyway, that's, oh shikes, what am I doing? I'm thinking, what I should be next thing before I actually do what I'm doing. I'm going losing it. All right, just a, a tad of black. A tad, please, a tad. A tad of black. That's a bit harder to control those particular. Okay, I'm gonna just blow this gold. I got a little golden flower, look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see <laughs> if I can stop this going messy. Oh, 
that's very nice. Ooh. Wow, that's that's pretty nice. I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to just use my little. It's just a normal size balloon with a little bit of water in to give it a bit of weight. And let's see if I can put a nicer effect in the center. Not so much so on the black one because it's only got the black, but it's still, I'll bring it down. It still looks very nice, sort of a classy effect. Let's see this hot pinkiness. You can definitely be dipping this onto another canvas or a piece of card to make gift cards or gift tags. That's another little idea that you can do, which is um, nice and easy. Oh, that's cute. Cute as a button. Rightio, I am going to bring you down, have a look at this. That's really, really lovely. If you were gifting the vase and a little, uh, a little canvas, it's cute. Beauty you see what I mean with the, I've never ever, that I can remember had it go in those holes like that, because it's all the same pouring paint. So that is a bit strange. Maybe it is because it's older, because it definitely has mixed far more than I've ever had it done before. Uh, not too worried about the bottom. As I said, I'll probably put a piece of cork on the bottom. But I don't like those cells. But I am going to let it dry and see what it turns out like. Because I love those little vases. And like I say, I love making something out of these little um, mustard jars. They're handy. And here is the cutie patootie. Look at that out of the leftover with a little bit of even the gold look how that looks real classy even on um, a black canvas with the gold that would look quite nice I think that's inspired me for my next piece to do something monochromatic with the black and white maybe but look how nice the gold ones are just on their own lots of people like just black and gold paintings so really happy with that it was a nice fun project easy peasy lemon squeezy i really hope you give it a go if you um not even an, you don't have to be an artist you just want to have a will to enjoy and remember it's your art your rules your way don't take criticism off people when you're enjoying yourself in your own space so I will put the photos on the end of them dry and I will try and add the photos of ones that I've had sitting in my house for well in excess of two years, maybe three years, that I use. Okay, thank you for joining me and I will be back tomorrow. Bye for now. It's fully dry now. It's dried quite nice. It's dried quite, get it off there. quite shiny. So that's not too bad at all. Nice little piece. Bit disappointed with these. They dried quite dull. So I have taken them off the cup, but they, oh. it sort of, see where I was having that bubble, you know, cells come up in the paint. I sort of went in those funny little, I mean, my husband said, oh, that looks good. Oh, that's a nice effect, but I'm not sold on it and the other little jar I'm gonna put I'm gonna use it inside for some earbuds in my um, guest bathroom and I'll put uh, I'll jazz that top up there so that's the dried piece I might put gold around the rim there just with the gold acrylic pen on the the rim of each one so to pretty that up too but they don't look too bad but i'm really just a bit disappointed with that sort of happening in there i've never i can't remember that happening before but anyway on with the flow okay until tomorrow bye for now